Buenos dias. I'm on my morning walk with Micah and Ghost. And today's Friday morning. So today I did legs. Uh, legs went very well. I got four, four PRs. You'll have to watch and see where I got the PRs. And uh, the squat is one of my lifts for my challenge. Uh, but um, I gave until the end of January to put in your guesses. But uh, I might make some exceptions if some people join in a little bit late. But uh, let me know, because I only have two, only two people, two or three actually, there's three people who submitted their, their estimates for what days this year I'm gonna hit my, my goals. So they have a high chance of winning $100 and up to uh, $500. Um, and put your guess down below for what day this year I'm gonna hit 315 on the squat for eight and this one's gonna be difficult because I keep trying to go lower and lower in the squat position so uh, so it'll take a while to get 315 with a full full depth squat ass to grass and uh, today today I should the least amount of reps but I believe I've gotten the lowest I've ever gotten with 245 and I think I don't think I can go any lower so I should start increasing the reps at that depth and uh, let me know what you think about my workout. And I do this workout because it is, um, it sets me up for, for success because it's so easy to do four workouts, four exercises in this workout. And that's it. It only takes, only takes uh, 20 minutes. It takes me a little bit longer because I'm um, recording it, but uh, it's, a, it's faster than it would take you to get to the gym. And it's something that you can do for the rest of your life. Every week, do legs for the rest of your life. And you'll never have to regress and start all over again. The key to success is to never give up. And let me know your thoughts down below and enjoy the video. First thing I do on leg day is I warm up at 135 just to get the, the blood flowing, muscles warmed up, and to get a nice stretch. So I try to go as low as possible. to the working set. I'm back with the working set. Uh, last week I did 245 for six and the squat is one of my lifts for my challenge. Let me know down below what day this year I'm gonna hit two, uh, two, 315 for eight on the squats. Uh, I've been stuck on 245 for a while because I find that uh, every week I'm able to go a little bit lower and lower with 245. And my goal is to do um, as full uh, as full range of motion as possible so I try to go low as possible with the weight and I'm gonna keep doing that until uh, I'm able to hit nine and then I'll start adding five pounds to the lift so we put your safeties in I have a video where I didn't put the safety in on one side
only got four, but I think that's the lowest I've ever gone with the weight. So I'm gonna keep doing that until I'm able to do uh, nine reps. I'll drop 10 and go again. less reps because I keep getting lower and lower in the squat but that's what I want and eventually I'll start adding weight and I'll be back with um, RDLs I'm back with the RDLs Romanian deadlifts and last week I did nine reps with uh, 285 pounds so this week I'm gonna add five pounds and do 290 and I should be able to do eight or nine again and if I get more than eight, I'm going to increase the weight again next week. Let's see what happens. Got some chalk. I got chalk and I use the mix grip. And ever since I started using the mix grip, I've been able to hold onto the barbell throughout the whole way. That's it, one set, don't need any more. Go on to the next exercise. Fucking easy peasy. I think my face is in the frame. Um, the next exercise I do is the belt squat. And last week I did uh, 165 for eight. So I'm going to do 165 again, and if I get 9, I'm going to increase the weight to 170 next week. And I keep trying to figure out the best angle to film this, and I'll try this with a wide angle. And I always forget to load up the, the racks so it doesn't move on me. So I'll fast forward this. That should be good. Strap in.
We got nine. I'm gonna drop, drop 20, 10 on each side. Go again. And I can't. Nine was perfect. That's it, on to the next one. I'm back with the next workout and leg curls. Last week I did uh, 40 pounds for eight. So I'm gonna keep it at 40 pounds and then drop down to 30. And I should be able to do nine, nine this week. Seven. I got three on the drop set and uh, always hold that last rep for 10 seconds. I always say it, but push for 10 and makes Dad. the biggest difference. Dad. And then onto the last Dad. exercise. I just sweat in my Dad. ass. Dad. Dad. Back to the last exercise and uh, it's calf raises. Last week I did 30, 210. And I'm gonna keep doing 210 until, know, until I feel like I should add a little bit more weight. So I'll do three again and I'll fast forward this boring as hell but the calves are very uh, underrated a lot of people don't work their calves and then you can tell when they get jacked their upper body gets jacked they have big legs but they look like they're they're standing on toothpicks so calves are important never skip your calves Increase the weight next week. That feels really good. Calves are burning. Dad, and back tomorrow. Be back tomorrow for muscle ups and and hand grippers. Dad.